I'm Erin Zimmerman, Assistant Vice President of Communications, here today with Jay Wilson, our Assistant Vice President of Wine and Spirits. Jay, you're going to tell us a little bit about a new program in the department. Yeah, we've got a great new wine program called Always a Wine for 3, 6, and 9. And it's a control label program and a private label program. Control label is a, a label that other retailers may have throughout the country, just not in our marketing area. And then a private label is one that is just exclusive for hy -Vee. So we have a little bit of both in this program. So why did we decide to develop this new program? You know, it's a growing trend in the wine industry for retailers to have control of private label wines. And it was just time for us to get in the game. And really, in, within the next 10 years, it's probably going to be about 25% of the entire wine department. And how did we decide what wines we were going to include in this program? We did about a year's work uh, looking at different wines and different companies, and we decided to go with our first company, the Wine Group, um, with three, three labels from them. Our private label, Cutler Creek, is our $3 label. That's all California juice. They also had another label called Lula B, and she was born in France, and the, but she's a woman of the world. She's from Spain and Chile and California, so all over. That's our $6 line control label. And then we also have $9 at run, with Running With Scissors and that's from the central coast of California. Well, with all these new wines in this program, how are we going to merchandise that in the store? Well, we've got a great display right over here if you want to go take a look at it. Okay. So, Aaron, we're right here in front of what we want to be is our shelf set for these wines. Um, these are all four, in a four foot or eight foot section. We want to keep them all together. We want the program to stay together. Um, but we also are encouraging the stores to put big displays, large displays inside the department, outside in the main store to really focus in on it throughout the entire store. What other marketing pieces are we using for the program? As you can see, we've got a header behind us that we use. We also have Iron Man posters. We have box stickers for the displays. We have stickers for the doors. Just all kinds of different mar marketing posters and so on and so forth. Then we also have, we're doing a lot with print and dot com ads too. And what type of customers are we trying to attract with the new program? Aaron, we really want to attract all customers from the novice wine drinker all the way up to the expert. So there's a choice for everyone in this program. And as a customer, can I expect to see some new varieties? Coming in September, we're going to have two new lines in the $9. We'll have Dolce Vasallo from, from Italy, which will be a Moscato di Asti and a Sweet Red. And then from Argentina, we're going to have San Felipe, which is going to have a Malbec, a Tarantas, and an Anouk Chardonnay. So looking forward, what else is going to be new on the horizon for Wine and Spirits? Just like with Always a Wine for 3, 6, and 9, this summer we're going to start developing a private label craft beer program as well. Well, thank you, Jay. That's great information on our new program, Always a Wine for 3, 6, and 9.